Another video demonstrates that two shooter shot weapons all the while amid a week ago's Las Vegas shooting assault, discrediting the FBI's solitary wolf shooter story. The three-minute clasp demonstrates that diverse weapons were discharged from various areas by numerous aggressors. The concert goer who taped the recording hid from the slugs as hordes of individuals around him fled from the region. TheFreeThoughtProject.com reports. The individual recording the video is remaining low to the ground with a gathering of individuals who are urging others to seek shelter, rather than running out away from any confining influence. No, we are not moving. Simply remain down, one young lady says. Try not to leave, simply remain down. The main burst of gunfire can be heard at the 015 stamp, took after very quickly by a moment burst of gunfire that sounds particularly extraordinary. A similar thing happens again at the 201 check, with auxiliary gunfire starting at the 206 stamp. This video aggregation demonstrates the above video, and two others that seem to demonstrate a similar thing. It is essential to take note of that while this video appears to affirm different shooters, there are various changing situations that could have delivered these impacts. The acoustics in an enormous solid city like Las Vegas can surely play traps on even the most sharp audio feels. While this isn't precisely an indisputable evidence, this video positively warrants facilitate examination and ought not to be disregarded. Notwithstanding, it creates the impression that the predominant press and police, in any event openly, have no worry with this proof. This isn't the principal confirmation of the slaughter being done by different shooters. Actually, video surfaced on Tuesday from a cab driver who unmistakably heard gunfire from two distinct areas. While sitting in the taxi line at the Mandalay Bay Hotel, Corey Langdon started recording as soon she heard discharges ring out. Her video starts with the hints of removed shooting and inside seconds, the shooting the gunfire seems as though it is originating from an alternate, nearer area. As the Free Thought Project revealed, while there were two windows broke out of Paddock's double room suite, the separation between them doesn't appear to be sufficiently far from each other to create the sounds we hear in the video beneath. Likewise, it would have been an incredible accomplishment to keep running between the two windows as quick as the terminating is heard. A portion of the trades happen immediately. One week after the Las Vegas shooting, there remain various glaring irregularities that repudiate the official story. Notwithstanding declining to recognize the developing number of witness accounts that have guaranteed there were different shooters, it took the FBI under 24 hours to stick the whole shooting on one thing. This suspect, 64-year-old Stephen Paddock, clearly challenged the chances via completing what is being known as the deadliest mass shooting in current U.S. history with unbelievable capability, utilizing propelled weapons, despite the fact that he has no military foundation, and he didn't have a notoriety for being a firearm fellow. The possibility that the FBI would not make the undeniable inquiries about whether different shooters were included, is totally preposterous. While some body camera film has been discharged from the evening of the shooting that gives knowledge into the tumultuous scene from the first-hand viewpoint of the cops required, there is one unbelievably vital bit of video confirmed that presently can't seem to be discharged. As indicated by the FBI's authentic account, Paddock acted alone, which implies that he was in charge of transporting many rifles, a large number of rounds of ammo and different supplies up to his in-room in the days prior to the shooting. Fortunately, he was in a standout amongst the most prominent inns in Las Vegas, which implies that there ought to be a lot of surveillance camera film indicating him with his baggage, yet none of it has been discharged. Truth be told, under 24 hours after the shooting happened, NBC News distributed a story including different photographs from surveillance cameras that seemed to indicate Stephen Paddock at a club in the Cosmopolitan Hotel and afterward in an emergency room after he fell in 2011. It took hours to discover security film of Paddock from six years prior, yet it has been over seven days, and the recording from two days before the shooting still has not been discharged. The most recent video confirmed makes it difficult to deny that there were, indeed, numerous shooters. The possibility that the FBI declines to recognize the witness declarations, even with expanding proof 
brings up major issues about the likelihood of their operators' commitment to the slaughter.